I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and now, over and now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out some new makeup products. I have some drugstore, some high-end, um, stuff from Sephora, stuff from my Boxy and Ipsy bags. So if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look right here, please keep watching. So I'm excited to try out some new makeup products. These are some of my favorite videos to film. Um, I feel like I'm going to be a little awkward in this one because I have not sat in front of the camera in almost three weeks. Just haven't been feeling very well. But, um, so for primer, I'm really excited about this. This has been out for quite a while and everybody seems to love it and people still talk about it. So I finally decided that I would pick it up. This is the Versali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. I just went ahead and got the little mini size because I have tried um, the LC dry oil and it did not work for me. And I feel like I've tried another oil too and it didn't work so I figured I would just be play on the safe side and get the smaller ones of paying like the 50 or 60 for like the bigger one. I'm not even sure how big the biggest one is but I think this is like 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this today. I do have dry skin. So I guess I should probably shake it maybe. Kind of smells like Easter eggs. Apply to clean face before moisturizer. Maybe used as a primer before makeup application. So I guess I'm just going to rub it in my fingers. I don't really know how much to use, but this is the only primer I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to use kind of a lot. It seriously smells like chocolate covered Easter eggs or I'm just hungry. I don't know. I was not expecting it to smell like this. Like I know people have said it smells good, but I wasn't expecting it to smell like that. It feels like it's like sinking into the skin really nice. It's getting a little bit tacky. It doesn't feel as hydrating as I was expecting it to, I guess is what I'm saying. I got rid of that pimple and I got a new one. Can't win. See this matches for foundation i just used self tanner for the first time since sixth grade um on thursday so like five days ago or wait let's say thursday a week ago today i tried it and i feel like it's still kind of like hanging on i don't know maybe when i go back to edit this video i'm gonna be like dang Brittany, your face is way too dark over your body. um but i'm gonna be using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade 220 um, Natural Beige. So I'm just going to use this today. I'm just going to take two pumps and then blend it with my LA Girl sponge. So this foundation did blend out really nicely on top of that primer. This foundation on me is pretty matte. So when I'm going to wear it, it's matte and full coverage. I can make it wearable for my dry skin as long as I use a hydrating primer and like I'm like super moisturized. So I think it looks pretty good on top of that primer. I'm getting my nails done today after this video probably. I hate going to the nail salon like seriously it stresses me out to the point where if I have like a window of like okay I can go I gotta go within that 10 seconds of like wanting to go or I won't go. <laughs> it's so bad but anyways my natural nails got so long they were driving me insane. Like the second I feel like I can stick my thumb underneath my nails, if that makes sense, I know they're too long. So I just clipped them myself and they look awful. So I'm going to get them done under this video and get like a manicure. I think I'm just going to do red. I haven't done red in a while. So anyways, the next thing I'm going to be trying out is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is in the shade In Fair 2. This might actually be... <laughs> A smidge light or a lot of light right now we're about to find out oh my god this doe foot so it's not really a doe foot it's kind of like a it looks like the bingo ink dabber things interesting so this is probably gonna be like way too light for this foundation um, it feels like it's gonna dry fast so I'm gonna do one eye at a time yeah that's pretty light Normally I would use a brush, but I've been using a sponge lately to blend out my concealer. So right off the bat, I'm getting like tart shape tape vibes because it's kind of like a drier formula. Um, I feel like the sponge made it not full coverage. This is definitely like too light for this foundation right now.
Yeah, I feel like it does dry down fairly quickly. I can't really tell. I thought this was supposed to be full coverage. Um, I already threw the box away. It doesn't say. I'm just going to add just a smidge like right there where like my eye bags are. I do feel a little bit of this concealer does go a long way. That's for sure. Um, I definitely need to get a darker shade if I'm going to continue to self tan or summer hopefully is around the corner. <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm all for a bright under eye, but this is too much. When I set my under eyes, it takes away some of the brightness. So normally I don't like that, but now I need it. <laughs> Let's do brows, I guess. Um, I got this in my Boxy Lux. This is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I think it's like a gel cream. It's in the shade medium, so it's definitely going to be too dark for me. Um, I wish I would start putting like universal shades in here, but this is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, I got fingerprints all over it. Yay. And then you open it up and you get a mirror and then this little thing pops open, kind of like a cushion foundation. This thing comes off and then you have these two. You guys can see it. These two shades right here, so you have a light brown and then like a dark brown. So I don't know if this is gonna work for me, honestly. I'm gonna try it though. I have bangs, so it won't be that big of a deal. Then there's like this little tool in here that can flip open and there's a spoolie on one side and then the brush on the other. So I'm gonna attempt to use this. I wonder if this comes in any other shades, cause this is cool. So I'm gonna use the mirror in there too. So I'm gonna use the spoolie first. I'm going to take the lighter shade. I don't think I'm going to use the dark shade at all. It just feels like um, ink, like pen ink. Interesting. I mean, I like it. It's definitely weird. I think I can make the lighter shade work. And then I'll just use, it's kind of hard to do the tail though. And then I'll just use like a blonde brow mascara or something to lighten it up. I'm not too fond of this brush though, but it does the job. This is such an interesting product. I don't know if it's, oh, I'm getting it everywhere. I don't know if it's something that I would have bought on my own. So that's cool that it came in a BoxyCharm. I would be interested to see if they had just like a blonde shade. This is like a really, it's such a weird product, but I mean, even like the lighter brown shade I got to work. So, and then this little brush just folds right up and goes right back in there. So this would be really good for traveling. So now I'm just gonna use my Essence Make Me Brow Blondie Brows just to add some highlights back into my brows since that is kind of dark. So I'm just gonna run this through there. This is the eyebrow cushion. Use the bristle wand to brush eyebrows into place. Bounce the angled brush end into the cushion. With small strokes, apply the pigment to create your desired effect. The quick drying formulation allows you to reapply and build up intensity. Contains vitamin E, renowned to stimulate hair growth. So far, so good. So to set my face, I'm going to be trying out the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder. This is in the shade Butter. I think I'm going to try to set my under eyes and my face. I don't know. We'll see. But then I watched um, Jaclyn Hill's like favorites video. And she was talking about the lavender shade of this Fenty Powder to set under eyes to like help brighten. So I think I'm going to buy that. Cause it just sounds like really interesting. I did buy the new Kylie Cosmetics loose powder and I got the shade Soft Pink. Um, but I'll have to try that in another video. So this is what it looks like. I guess I'm gonna try to set my under eyes with it first and then I will set my face. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush right here. It doesn't look like that concealer really creased. 
at all. I mean, kind of like on my lids, but under my eye, it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna dip this Morphe M536, I always use this to set my under eye, into this powder and then press it in. So it kind of brightened up my under eye still. I don't feel like it really took away any of the brightness, which usually loose powder does. Like loose powder makes my under eyes like dark. Um, but this one looks like it held up. The one time that I wanted to darken it up a little bit, it didn't. But I'm not mad at it. I like this so far. However, if that left my under eyes like bright still, I don't know how I feel about using this to set my face. I guess we can just try like a little bit of it. But I guess it wouldn't hurt if we brightened up the foundation a little bit because it is pretty dark. So I'm just going to swirl my powder brush in it. Just press that in. So far I like this powder. I have no complaints. But I definitely think... Eventually, if I'm going to continue to use it, I should get a darker shade to set my face and then use this to set my under eye or to set my face when I'm like more fair. Because um, I feel like this is just too light to set my skin tone right now. So far, I've liked everything that I've tried out. So, um, the bronzer that I have to try out might actually be too light, um, but I want to try out the Hoola Light from Benefit and see if we can make this work. It's super light. I wasn't planning on being like self-tan because it's not something that I do, and me being self-tan from a week ago and it's still on, which is probably a good thing, right? Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to take my Morphe 3 and dip in there and just see... It might not even show up. It's like I got this Hula Light for when I'm like really pale, like fair. Um, because the regular Hula is just like too dark for me when I'm like um, pale. So that's why I got this. But I feel like I can still kind of see it. It just looks more of like a natural bronzer. Which I don't think it looks bad. I might just leave it. Um, I'm going to take this little Luxie brush and I'm going to contour my nose. Let's see what that looks like. I think this would be a really good nose contour shade. If you didn't want it to be super dark I guess is what I'm saying because sometimes I can get carried away with my nose contour and then I have to keep blending it out because it's so dark and then I like blend off my foundation but I think this is like the perfect shade even with this foundation like I think that looks pretty good still I think I'm going to take a little bit of that Fenty powder and just kind of bake the sides of my nose maybe a little bit down the center so I'm pretty excited about this next product this is from Buxom and it's their new blushes I love Buxom um, this is the Wanderlust primer infused blush I have the shade Dolly right here I love the little like acrylic packaging but I feel like this is like a shade of blush that will go with anything it is a little darker I'm taking my Morphe E4 I'm just gonna dip in there That's pretty. Like, I might put on a little bit more than you since I don't have, like, any bronzer on. I barely dipped in there and it was plenty, so. So for highlighter, I'm going to be trying out this Dior highlighter. This is in the shade, well, it says Dior Skin Nude Luminizer, and it's in the shade 02. All of them were gorgeous. This is what it looks like, and then it has nude, like, embossed on the inside. I'm going to use my Smashbox fan brush. 
when I was swatching these in the store, like this one is like a pink silver kind of, but it's not like overwhelming pink, like how some highlighters are. So I feel like for this one, having pink in it, it's still wearable because I have some that are just like straight pink and like sometimes I like that, but not, it's not like an everyday thing for me. So I think this one is like really wearable. And I like that it's kind of like a natural glow, but I bet if you got your brush wet, you could build it up and make it more extreme, like more blinding. But I'm not really into that whole blinding highlighter thing. I feel like I was for like a minute, like not even a long time. And then now I'm just like, it's just too much for me, I feel like, as I apply more. <laughs> so for eyes, I'm going to be trying out these ColourPop eyeshadow singles. I built my own little palette. And when you get these palettes in the mail, you can only fit four but I pulled out the thing on the inside and then I have room for all of these. So instead of only being able to fit four, I can fit two, four, six, eight, ten shadows. So I just took some tweezers and like pulled it out and then there's still like sticky stuff from like the magnet thing like on it. And so I just took some rubbing alcohol or some fingernail polish remover, I can't remember. And I just like got it all off. So I'm gonna be using these shades right here today. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go from like lightest to darkest and we'll see. Um, and then I'm also gonna be trying out these Farah or Fara brushes. I got these in my Ipsy Glam Plus. Try these brushes out today too. I don't think I've ever tried any brushes from this brand. I know I've gotten them in Ipsy before, but I don't think I've ever tried them. So this is what they look like. I don't know about that one, but let's go in with this big fluffy one first. Yeah, I don't know. Just by touching it, I'm just like, mm. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go in this shade right here and put that in the crease. Um, I don't really like this brush. It's kind of flimsy. It's like, this brush is like flimsy and stiff. It's like hard to blend. It's just the same thing. Like, I think there's two of like the bigger ones. So I'm gonna go in with the smaller one and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right there. Put that a little lower in the crease. Okay, I like this brush better. It's more dense and it's easier to blend. That other one was just weird. And then I'm going to go over to this third shade right here, put that in the crease, just sort of like layering all of these shades. And then the darker shade right here and I'm gonna switch to this brush it kind of reminds me of just like a flat blender that's perfect to get into the crease and I'm gonna apply that kind of on the outer V and then into the crease too I don't know this might be a pretty lid shade I'm gonna put it all over the lid actually And then 
I'm gonna take this shade right here and if it's not dark enough then I'll take the shade below it as well and I'm gonna put that in the outer V. Okay I'm gonna go in with the bottom shade now. Add that to the outer V. A little bit in the crease. Okay now since I hate these big fluffy brushes, I'm not going to use those. So I'm just going to go in with my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to take a mixture of these first three shades and put those back into the crease. Kind of like above the crease, like a transition shade. Because um, I feel like we lost those shades when I applied all the darker shades. So I'm just taking a mixture of all three. And just blending that back up there. And then I'm going to go over this outer corner, make sure that's all blended nicely. I was not planning on doing a kind of corally neon smoky eye today, but hey, whatever. I've been having a hard time, like blending this eyes like outer corner like it just doesn't want to do it and I'm gonna go back in with the shade right here that we used for the lid and just put that back on the lid because I blended it away and then back in with the two darker shades for the outer V Back in with the Sigma E40. This looks pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna keep it like all matte. I don't think I'm gonna put any of those shimmer shades on the lid, but I am gonna deepen up that outer V with those two darker shades. These are really good shadows. They blend out so nicely. Um, I don't have a cream shade, so I'm just going to take the Dior um, highlighter for my brow bone and inner corner. I'm gonna get started on the lower lash line. So if you've seen any of my videos before when I do anything that has to do with eyeshadow, I literally start from lightest to darkest and I just pile them all on top of each other. But I do save the darker shades just for the outer corner and then I kind of like blend them to the center. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now. This is a Luxie 141 Mini Round. So it's only I'm going to do for eyes. I'm going to go ahead and set my face now. I like to set my face before I apply mascara. So I'm going to be trying out this new CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist All Day Wear. This is what it looks like right here. It says it locks makeup in place all day, seals your look so it's smudge proof, transfer proof, and humidity proof. Microfine Mist has a lightweight, breathable feel, suitable for all skin types. So we're going to be trying this out today. Oh, this is super fine. I couldn't really tell if it was hitting my face because the mister is so fine. I feel like it got more on me than I did on my face. 
has like a cucumber scent to it. This look would look really good with false lashes, but honestly, I just do not feel like wearing false lashes today. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Fan Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara. This is the only mascara that works for me right now um, since I got my lash extensions off. I'm just going to do a smidge of this um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. Just a little bit in the waterline because I don't want it to be like super white and be like, Ugh, you know. But it turned kind of pink, so I guess it worked out. <laughs> I'm going to line my lips with this real quick. I think I've already tried this, though. Um, this is Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Melrose Place. So I don't have a new lip liner to try out, so I'm just going to use this. So you can definitely tell I haven't done my makeup in a while because I forgot a nose highlight. <laughs> uh. So for lips, I'm going to be trying out the CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Vow. This is in the shade 210 Kiss Kiss. I think it's going to be perfect for this eye look. Ooh, the doe foot is pointed. Oh, okay. Okay, it's not as opaque as I thought. Like, I definitely think I need, like, a lipstick underneath it, but I'm okay with how it looks. Ooh, I made my lips look really juicy. This is definitely something that I would be interested in getting a couple more shades for sure. So this is the finished makeup look. I actually like every single thing that I tried. Thank goodness. So let's go ahead and go over everything, even though I already like everything. But anyways, so the first thing I tried out is the Farsali Unicorn Essence. I do really like this. I do think I would like it more with a moisturizing primer underneath, like a cream primer. Um, like maybe like my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Primer or my Maybelline, uh, I can't remember, it's like a hydrating primer and then put this on top, I think I would like it more, but I do think this made um, the matte foundation go on like a little bit better since my skin is dry, so I do like that. I think I'm gonna continue to use it and it smells seriously like chocolate covered Easter eggs. Then the next thing I used was the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is definitely a little bit on the lighter side for me, but I don't think it looks bad now that I have all my makeup on. Um, I do think I should definitely get like a shade or two darker for the summertime if I am a little bit more tan but I do like this like I think it dried down enough to where I didn't have to set it if I didn't want to so that's freaking awesome it does remind me a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape for sure but I do like this then we have the Fenty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Butter. I really like this powder, like, a lot. I thought it was going to be way too light to set my face, but I think it looks just fine. And I really like how it looks on my under eyes. Then I tried the Hoola Light from Benefit. Um, I love this for a nose contour and a lip contour, um, even when I'm a little bit tan. It didn't really show up on my face all that much, but it doesn't look bad. Like, I would still use it, but I definitely like this to contour my nose for sure. Then we have the Buxom Dolly Primer Infused Blush. Love this. It's a really pretty shade. It matches, like, with my eyes and my lips, like, perfectly. I really like this blush. Then we have the Dior Highlighter in the shade 02. I really like it. It's just, like, a soft glow, and it has a little bit of, like, a pink tint to it, but it's not, like, overwhelming. Like, it looks just fine. I do think that if you wanted more in of an intense blinding highlighter. If you just got this wet, you'd be just fine. Then we have the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I like this. This is weird. This is weird, but I like it. Next, we have the CoverGirl Atlas Active Cooling Setting Mist. I like the smell of it. It's not very overwhelming, like, at all. Um, and just if I had to compare it to another setting spray that just off the top of my mind, it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, just how it feels on my skin, or the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. It reminds me of, like, those two. Then I believe... Oh, we have two things. Then we have the ColourPop Loose Eyeshadows. Oh, you guys, these blend out so nice. I have used ColourPop eyeshadow palettes before, but I've never used the singles, like this little palette that I built myself. So I'm super pleased with them. Like the mattes, like I feel like matte 
eyeshadows are really hard. It's really hard to find good matte eyeshadows, especially like these kind of colors. And I think they blend it out so good. Um, then we have the Farah or Farah brushes. Like I said, I'm pretty sure these came in like an Ipsy bag. Oh, I see now. So the one that I don't like is the 35E tapered blending is the one that I did not like. So I don't like these at all. I'm just going to set these aside because I'm not going to use them. Um, I can maybe make this work for something else. I don't know. Um, but I did like this one. This is the six short shading brush. This is the one I used to pack the color on the lid. And then I also like this one. This is the three mini tapered blending brush. So I did like these three. Then the last thing that I tried out is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Vow in the shade 210 Kiss Kiss. I like this. It makes my lips look really healthy and juicy. I love the shade of this. It's gorgeous. So I definitely want to go get a couple more shades, maybe like a nude and a light pink. So yeah, it feels really nice and comfortable. Like I just really like it. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me test out some new makeup products. As always, let me know if you've tried any of these products in the comments below and what you think. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe on your way out if you'd like to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video.